Hello again everyone, Craig here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out the newly updated Aztec Death Whistle. This library captures the dark soul of the Aztec Death Whistle, which is a ceremonial clay resonator that was used for human sacrifice rituals and warfare during the 14th and 15th centuries at the height of the Aztec Empire. We recorded this instrument in a dry studio as well as in a large open hall with close and far mic positions to give you a rich and lush ambience. So let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features within the newly updated Aztec Death Whistle. So this library comes with a variety of playable articulations from sustains, some flutters, staccato, some different hand percussion. And if you want to access the dry studio recordings, just go right here to dry. You also have the whole close and far. So a couple different options to choose from. And then you also have a couple categories for ambiences and the substance sustains and staccatos. And then to access the different articulations, just click this drop down below that and you'll see the different sustains. You have velocity and MIDI CC, so you have a couple different options for that, as well as some stingers and then some of the different percussions. So let's just have a listen to the dry sustain. This is the velocity layered one. And then if you play higher, you can get a more higher pitch. So if you see this key right here, that's the recorded note. So then if you play lower, Can hear that it'll pitch it down. Now let's have a listen to that same sustain but in a hall. This is the close mic and then you have the hall far. So the cool thing about this layer system is you can combine some of these different articulations together as well as combining some of the different ambiences with this instrument. So I have layer two right here. I'm going to turn this on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the hull close in layer one and then I'm going to have the hull far in layer two. So you can combine these different microphone positions. So you can hear by adding those together you can get a little bit more depth. And then if you want to add any more effects onto this, you can just go over here to the effects rack. You'll see you have a reverb already turned on. So if we want to try a different impulse, increase the mix, you can get an even more ethereal and lush sound. So it's really cool. So let's have a listen to some of the other articulations. I'm gonna keep the hull close loaded. So let's go and check out some of these roll sustains. And then we have some staccatos. Now let's have a listen to some of the hand percussion that we recorded with this instrument. And then another thing I want to mention is when you're checking out some of these and you want to have the pitch to where it doesn't pitch. So right now, if you play up and down on the keyboard, you can hear that it's tuned. So if you want to make it untuned, you just click this little drop down above the pitch and then you can make it to where it's untuned. So anywhere you play, you're just going to hear that same percussive sound. And the cool thing about that is if, let's say, you're using this with an ambience and you don't want that pitched, you want that same sound everywhere you play. So if you're playing some different melodic ideas with the ambiences and you want to make it to where you just have that single recording across the entire key range, that's how you do it. Let's check out this clink too. And then if you go up here to the advanced tab, you'll see that you have some LFO filter and an arpeggiator. So Let's turn on the arpeggiator and check out some of these different percussive sounds. And then we have some taps. And then pops. So I'm going to head back over to the dry studio mic position and then I'm going to play for you some of these stingers and these are a collection of some different swells, some crescendos and diminuendos. So let's have a listen to this. And then if you use this right here, you can take any of these sounds and stretch them across the key range. So if we want to do that real quick, just click this, 
select one and then you can play it really low. Or a little bit higher. And this one has some other percussion, so let's check out some of these flicks. And then you have some claps. And then some scrapes. Now I'd like to play for you some of the different sound design ambiences that we created for this library. So let's check out the ambiences one and have a listen to some of these. And you can see if you click this drop down, you'll see the different ambiences that are here. So let's have a listen to this. really cool dark and eerie sounding ambiences and these are great for underscore or even layering with the instrument which we'll do in a second. Let's check out this second category of ambiences. So I want to combine some of the different sustains with this ambience. And a really cool thing you can do is using this X fader right here. So I'm going to learn this to my mod wheel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set layer three right here to layer B. So we're going to be fading from A into B. And I want to keep the sound of the sustains going the entire time. And if let's say you want to crossfade between these two and you just want to have it to where it starts off with the Aztec Death Whistle sustains, but then fades out and then fades in that ambience, you can just set these to layer A. And then I'm going to turn on the reverb, give it a little bit more of a ethereal dark sound. So let's check this out. It's a really cool sound. So for this new update, we also created 20 custom effects presets using some of the different sounds and features of the library. So let's check some of these out.
All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough. If you want to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these. And until next time, see ya. Thank <laughs> you.